The Lemba are a group of Jewish people you may have heard us talk a lot about. These people live in Zimbabwe and other nations in the Southern African region. Their oral history names them as sons of Aaron, the high priests of Israel. This suggests that the Lemba have ties to the ancient tribe of Levi. More recently, DNA evidence has actually confirmed a link of the Lemba to historically Jewish people groups, particularly those bearing the, the Cohen or the ancient high priestly DNA marker. Now, the Lemba's oral history explains that during the 70-year Babylonian captivity between the first and the second temple periods, their ancestors married and then raised families with pagan women. When they returned to Jerusalem after the captivity, Ezra and Nehemiah insisted that they leave their foreign wives and their foreign families to demonstrate a complete return to the God of Israel. But a certain portion of the priests wouldn't, and instead they chose to leave Jerusalem and they migrated south, where they settled in Yemen on the Arabian Peninsula through an area historically called Lemba. After a time of peace, they began to experience persecution a few centuries later from Muslims growing in the region. And so they crossed the Red Sea into various parts of Africa. Some of the Lemba made their way through Ethiopia, Tanzania, and Mozambique to settle in eventually what's modern day Zambia, Zimbabwe, and South Africa, also into modern day Mozambique, a very similar path to the spice routes running through the ancient African world. Since the Lemba left Israel, they've retained a strong sense of their Israelite heritage and identity. Their religious practices include circumcising their boys, forbidding marriage outside the Lemba community, and even obeying biblical dietary laws originally given to the children of Israel. The Lemba even have their own kosher butchers to ensure that they adhere to ancient biblical standards. Over the years, while many Lemba became believers in Jesus, they continued to maintain their Jewish, more specifically their Levite identity and customs, but they struggled to understand where they fit in both faith community as believers in Jesus, as well as in the Jewish community, not to mention the surrounding cultures near them. Many in the larger community often pressed the Lemba to give up their Jewish identity as irrelevant and historical, while others wanted them to renounce Jesus as Messiah in order to preserve their Jewish or Lemba identity. When we here at Jewish Voice first met the Lemba, they saw other Jewish believers in Jesus who continue to regard our Jewish identity as a vital part of who we are and who God created us to be. The Lemba were thrilled to find a community of believers known as Messianic Jews, Jewish believers in Jesus, where they could fully belong, both as Lemba, as Jews, and as those who profess faith in Jesus the Messiah. Jewish Voice conducted our first medical outreach in Zimbabwe in May of 2012, bringing the gospel along with much needed medical, dental, and eye care to the Lemba and to their neighbors. Over the years, we've provided over 160,000 Zimbabwean nationals, many, many of them Lemba, with health care or emergency food relief, as well as access to clean drinking water to prevent the spread of disease like cholera. Now that 160,000, believe it or not, is equivalent to over 1% of Zimbabwe's national population. Since that first outreach, thousands of Lemba have professed faith in Jesus as their Messiah, and we've helped establish more than 125 Messianic Jewish congregations led by indigenous Lemba leadership. In 2015, Jewish Voice had the honor of participating in the ordination of the first national Lemba Messianic Congregational Overseer, who himself continues to lead a team of both national and regional elders and leaders as they lead their own Lemba people in faith and discipleship in Jesus. We maintain close relationships with pastors, leaders, and other believers within this network of Messianic congregations, helping disciple new believers and training their leaders through annual congregational visits throughout Zimbabwe and even into South Africa. The Lemba continue to be eager to grow as believers in Messiah and enthusiastic about reaching their own fellow Lemba and their Zimbabwean neighbors with the good news of Jesus. At Jewish Voice, we're committed to continuing to support the Lemba and their neighbors as they engage their own communities through early childhood development centers, school fee assistance programs, micro-business, and continued access to clean water, such as filters and even wells in the middle of extremely rural areas. The Lemba are just one of the many Jewish communities scattered around the world who represent the lost tribes of Israel.